going on? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? But like, back in the news again. Let's just hop right into the video. This is just a random video I just wanted to start it off with. Kind of get you started. Beer aisle at Walmart. Empty shelf. Budweiser products. Fully stocked. Bud, Bud Light. And of course, Michelob Ultra Budweiser product. Empty shelf. Now, this was not a huge video. This video didn't even get that many uh, views, but I just wanted to start you off with that just to see how you feel about it, okay? So, let's do a little bit of reading. I know, I know, man. I know some people, they hate reading, but stick with me, baby, okay? Just stick with me for a little bit. I promise you it won't be that much, okay? Stick with me, okay? Bud Light is now cheaper than water at some retailers after $20 billion of Dylan Mulvaney disaster at some... Stores report a 50% decline, decline, de decline in sales year on year after the marketing giving it gone wrong. Let's just do it. Just a little bit of reading. Stick with me, baby. Just stick with me. Uh -uh -uh. Bud Light sales plunge after Mulvaney tie-up. April 22nd, 23%, 22, 20, 21.4, 23 23.4, 23.6, 24.6, 24.4, 26.8, 28.5. That is a significant reduction. It may not seem like that, but when you're talking money, percentages jumping that big is a problem. So Wagner added that the drop off in sales cannot be attributed to the lack of interest in drinking beer among consumers. Cases of Bill of Light, for instance, are flying off the shelves for $24.99, far more than seriously marked down $8.99 that cases of Bud Light are now going for. I've seen a long time Bud Light customers trying other beers at Wagner. If they find something they like, they might not come back. That's one of the biggest things that I noticed. Even if Bud Light recovers, the problem is, is people are gonna be like, wow, this beer was actually not that good, <laughs> you know? But some people are gonna be like, well, you know what? I actually like this other beer. I mean, I did like Bud Light, but after they kind of screwed me over and I found this other beer, they taste great. That's the problem with losing customers. Um, especially to this degree, it's not necessarily that you, you can't win them back because they might actually like a beer that's better than yours because you're going to have people who were on the fence. They're like, I uh, but like this beer. And now that they completely got off of Bud Light, they're like, ah, you know what? Never mind. Not coming back. Uh, it's not that they stopped drinking beer. They just stopped drinking, uh, buying Bud Light. Wagner added that one of the cardinal bar rules in the beer industry is not getting political um, in the first place. No politics and no religion. Okay. And this is what started it all. Dylan Mulvaney with the beer. And as you can see, these Walmart, not Walmart, just stores showing all this Bud Light still saved up in there. And uh, so pretty much what this, uh, what it talks about is a man, a man is talking about that there's some water he had in the back, right? That's what this headline is from. There's some water in the back. And he said that the Bud Light was selling even less than the water they had sitting in the back. And so... That's just kind of crazy to think about. But, you know, to be fair, the water kit, water's about, what, $4.99, a package of water. And it says Bud Light right here is the final price is $3.49 with a $15 rebate. That's just wild to even think about. All right, moving on to the next part. So this morning, Bud Light also contracted had to shut down two bottling plants, okay? <clears throat> I'm actually going to let y'all watch this little clip here. Do you own your home but still rent your electricity? If you pay more... Of course... It's going to give me an ad. Well, while we, we let that ad run for a second, I'm going to talk a little bit about this Bud Light thing a little bit more. So with Bud Light, man, and everything that's happening with it, once again, I'll say this, and people will still build, blame Dylan for what's going on. I do think that what they did was um, when they decided to go political, they really screwed themselves up. Okay, the video's ready. <laughs> Americans are warming up to electric vehicles, and a contractor for Bud Light maker Anheuser-Busch shuts down two bottling plants. Jane King's at the NASDAQ market site with those stories and more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. A major contractor for a Bud Light maker Anheuser-Busch is shutting down two of its glass bottling plants in North Carolina and Louisiana, laying off about 600 employees amid declining sales of the beer. The Ardog Group is one of the largest glass producers in the world with more than 100 plants in operation. Workers at both bottling plants have reportedly noticed decreased production after transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney's marketing partnership with Bud Light, according to the New York Post. Well, while the domestic box office is telling 
nearly $4.5 billion in movie ticket sales through June 30th. That's a nearly 20% increase over last year, but still lags behind 2019. Box office experts noted that 2023 has several big releases still to come in the second half of the year, including Barbie Oppenheimer, The Exorcist Believer, and Dune Part 2. Well, stocks edged higher in a shortened trading session Monday. All right, so you heard her, okay? We'll even read it for you for the people who love the re my reading. <clears throat> the two plants slated to shut down are located in the South Carolina, Louisiana. About 600 employees will be laid off. From the start of 2023 through uh, June 30th, the domestic office has tallied $4.5 billion in movie sales. What does that have to do with what I just read? They fooled me into reading that highlighted part, even though I read it earlier and already knew what it had said. Um, so anyway, but like shutting down even more plants is, listen, here's one thing I want to say before, you know, I, I just want to make sure that it's understood that I am not for people getting their jobs taken away from them. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a business. We talked about this with ESPN. We talked about this with Netflix and Disney, uh, well, Disney is the ESPN. We talked about this with Netflix as well as Amazon. When the bottom line gets the fact that people get fired and when businesses decide to make decisions that to start to destroy their company, people are going to get laid off. So I'm sorry for those people who lost their job because Bud Light decides to go this route. But I have an interesting twist to all of this. And what is that? The twist is a certain somebody decided they want to sell Bud Light again. You're not even going to guess who it is. Take a guess right now. I'll give you a quick little song. Do -do -do. That's copyrighted. Not going to sing it, okay? Mr. Kid Rock himself was selling it again. Let's watch. I should always hear that last part again. Please don't show me Ben and Jerry. We're not there yet. We're not on Ben and Jerry and what they said about taking people back, taking back the land. And they mentioned that on the 4th of July. Okay. So anyway, man, it sucks that they did that to me and then threw that ad in there. Well, anyway, it seems that <clears throat> that Kid Rock is right back to selling this beer. Now, Let's read this last part. I was in Nashville last week and visited the Kid Rock, uh, Kid Rock Bar, and I saw people drinking Bud Light beer at the bar. That's what he usually said. What was all this stuff he used, would not sell things, would not sell Bud Light in his establishment? A few days prior, another Twitter user, at Donald Capek, said, We're visiting Nashville, and yes, you can buy Bud Light at the Kid Rock Bar. Unreal. He included a picture of it outside there. And then, you know, the guy had mentioned to the waitress, I thought y'all weren't selling it. She said they had stopped selling it for a week. And then they probably started selling it again. Here's my whole situation with this. It is Kid Rock's bar, but understand that everybody's bar has some autonomy. And when I say autonomy, I mean some bars are able to do whatever they want to the degree. It's not like Kid Rock is there. Hey, guys, drink Bud Light. I'm sure what ended up happening is that they had Bud Light sitting in the back. And then they're like, you know what? We still got this beer. We still need to sell it. We still got to make money. So maybe they were just like, let's just get rid of it. I don't think that Kid Rock's bar selling the Bud Light was a way to say, oh, now he's representing Bud Light again. I think what happened is, like I said, they had some in the stock. They had stopped selling it. And they're like, you know what? We got to get this beer sold. Now, it would be weird and odd if they had ordered the Bud Light beer after all of this happened. That, that I don't know. But from what I think it happened, and what the waitress has said, they had stopped just selling it for a week, but they already had the beer ready to go. Maybe had already ordered the beer. It was already coming. They're like, well, we got to get rid of it. What are you supposed to do? Just look at it. Just look at it. So I'm not going to take too much of this. I'm not going to be like, oh, Kid Rock's a sellout. I don't think that's the case. Like I said, he was just selling it in Tennessee. And it says he was selling it, but what I can tell it was his bar that was selling it. And so 
I don't know. Let me know. If you got more information, you could tell me. But I think personally that this is just one of those things where it's like, we got to sell it. It's like the stores that had Bud Light that we saw, we had stores that were selling Bud Light. They might not necessarily um, agree with what Bud Light's doing, but they still got the beer. Money still has to be made, baby. At the end of the day, it's the bottom line. What are they supposed to go do? You just take the beer and just throw it out? That ain't going to happen. A lot of people aren't going to, especially a business, they're not going to do that. Some you, you have these contracts with these companies saying you're going to sell the beer. So you can't just go start taking their beers and just start chucking them out and say, no, we're not going to sell it. Hey, look, you say you were going to sell it, you're going to sell it. And now if you have to drop the price, there's nothing that they can do. Be like, hey, we're trying to sell the beer. We got to drop the price. We're trying to do the best we can. But I'm sure, pretty sure that when you have a uh, company in your, and you have a business and you say we're going to sell it, you kind of got to sell it or at least try to sell it. I could be wrong on that. Let me know. Uh, anyway, but like, man, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to say y'all are done. But as far as y'all ever being that top dog again, I think those days are over. It's over, buddy. Over. Because once again, like I said, and I'll end with this. People have left Bud Light to try other beers. And once they realize that Bud Light's really not that great tasting and there's other beers that taste better and they were really just loyal to Bud Light for really no good reason. Because maybe they were representing them and stuff like that. They're going to go to other beers and be like, wow, this actually just tastes better. And they just never go back to Bud Light. You know, we all done stuff like that. You've ever tried a different food or a different uh, drink that you're like, you know what? I don't think I'm ever going to go back. I'm cool. It's just like when <laughs> I'm going to shut up after this, but it's just like when cheese nips. Y'all remember cheese nips? There was cheese nips and cheese its I was eating cheese nips for a long time. And then I tried cheese its I ain't never had cheese nips again. Obviously, I don't eat cheese cheese its today. But the point is, sometimes, baby, when you go to another bill, you might just not come back ever again. From what I hear, Bud Light's not good. I don't drink. I've had Bud Light a long time ago, but I can't tell you which beer tastes better. You let me know. Do you drink beer? Do you think it's a better tasting beer? Do you think Bud Light's Dawn? Also, just a little preview. Ben and Jerry's. Not looking good. I'm out of here. Peace.